Alrighty, what is up, buddy people? Welcome back to some Dyson Sphere program. We are diving back into our game where I have not started it properly because I am a professional. Uh, we are diving back into the game that we've left off last night, which was just starting the Interstellar Gateway, sorting out hydrogen for the first time, so we've actually got access to Casimir crystals. Which was the slight problem we were struggling with, we were having to crack a lot of oil uh, to get the hydrogen and then burning off the carbon. But now we should, TM, big TM, uh, be okay for hydrogen. And <laughs> mainly because I went from a, like a production level of 1500 to around 5000 on the old uh, hydrogen. Actually helps if you put the entire star cluster on if you're gonna do that. And where were they? Yeah, hydrogen. We're now to 5,400 from 1,500. So a little bit more there, a little bit more to play with, which should mean more cosmic crystals, mean more quantum chips. Uh, I should probably stock up on loads of bits and bobs before I actually start heading back. Uh, because, yeah, that, that would be kind of important. Would be kind of important. Do I want to grab more power? Yes. I do. I'm not going to grab any more... Uh, not going to grab any more... Wind. I don't think we need wind. I don't think wind will be that important. But inserters and everything like that... Yeah, sure. We'll go, we'll go grab a bunch of that. Okay, that's all good. Green belts, yeah, we've got three stacks of those. We've got plenty of inventory space, not a problem. Uh, and then we need to do super mags. Got two stacks, grab another two. Motors, I believe we're okay for motors. Coils, yep. Iron, maybe do with another stack of iron. Copper's fine, titanium's fine, stone, fine. Uh, steel, titanium, glass, but that's all fine. Yeah, I think we're looking okay. I think we are looking okay. Uh, we do need to check on our fuel situation, which is good, and our warper situation, which is also good. And then, yeah, I think we uh, we head to set up more Casimir crystals. Because those are the, the big issue. We are severely lacking in Casimir crystals. We're also lacking in broadband, which seems to be a problem. Although, having said that, we have nearly a full stack of those, so... Maybe we're actually okay there for purple. Maybe we are actually okay. And how are we doing for greens? Yeah, greens are looking good. And I'm actually going to remove that can the filter now. Just because we have such a big backlog of warpers now. We're actually up to our our point in warpers, so now it just is uh, okay to have a 50-50 split. And I think I can actually take that out. Uh, because, yeah, we, we really don't need that many anymore. Uh, so it's just going to be setting up a few more broadband, maybe? I mean, how many are even in there? 1,000, 2,000, nearly 3,000, so yeah, maybe purple's okay. Let's go set up some chips, which will be in Alpha Serpents, as per usual. Got the gravity sphere, once you reach a thousand altitude, you can engage war. Go past the beginnings of that Dyson sphere. Lovely. Lovely, lovely stuff. So it's Alpha Serpentis. Uh, yeah? One? No, it's three we're heading for. Three is where we're making the Casimir crystals. And I think we are... here. Excellent. We had the dev team behind the game released uh, patch notes last night. Or this morning, I can't remember which one. But it's uh, quite some quite interesting, interesting things that they covered. Nice. Hydrogen looking grand. What's the problem? Titanium glass. Seems to be the issue right now.
And I guess it's just a question of producing more titanium plus. A lot more titanium plus. So we'll go up to eight. Uh, yeah, so basically what they covered was how stars generate and other real, uh, really deep back end stuff, which kind of interesting. If you, are, if you are interested, I'd suggest you check it out rather than me try and explain it. Probably probably easier and probably significantly clearer to read it directly from them, but it's quite funny. The, they're using the exact diagram that I was using as a reference point to work out which stars to go to. So the the one on the old, old Wikipedia regarding the classification of stars into categories depending on their uh, temperature. Okay, that is hydrogen glass basically quadrupled. And how much is that making? That's making 12 a minute on each of these. Or is it making 24 a minute? See, I never know whether it's, it's, it's I'm making 12 a minute because it's making it every 12 operations. It's performing 12 operations a minute or whether it's actually making 12 a minute. But I think it is doing 12 operations per minute. But I'm gonna then double literally what I just made. Because, yeah, titanium glass is now the bottom version. We have so much of so we can really bump up the Casimir crystal production. Which is nice. It also means we won't be making enough deuterium. So. Good times had by all. And you can go all the way around to there. I probably need to increase the amount of glass I make by water production. Probably need to do titanium too, but. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, once these are all up and running, which would be nice. So titanium glass, glass still seems to be keeping up, which is good. How's water doing? What I suspect is going to be the limiting factor because we've only got that water there. Uh, so next nearest pool is all the way over here. Go and uh, go and set up some water coming through there. How many water extractors have we got? None. Let's do four to begin with, while I set up the actual belt going in. Which probably wants to come along this line. And then, yeah, that'll, that'll be that set of production boosted. Now we've got the water extractors. I'm not entirely sure how many I'm gonna need, but as many as I can fit on here will be will be beneficial. Two, three, four. Power. We can always import water from elsewhere on the planet. It's it is a fairly wet ice world, from what I remember. Yeah, we've got a few few big clusters of water around here, especially, which is right next to the fractal silicon. So that would be a good place to do it. How are we doing on titanium glass? Looks like water is just backing up now. We've doubled it. Which is good. 
going over here and unloading titanium glass. Which is coming out of here now. And it looks like it's just starting to back up ever so slightly. Plane filters getting built. No, looking good on this now. So let's double Casimir crystals, which will mean we can double the titanium glass production, which will be one, two, three. One, two, three. Two. My only slight concern is the sheer number of uh, sheer number of hydrogen, sheer amount of hydrogen that we will have to start bringing into the Casimir crystal. So we're probably going to have to set up a separate a separate one after this one. I'm not sure how much it needs per second. It'd be kind of helpful to have a calculator or something like that to show you how much of a belt it would fill up. But we'll just have to kind of rough maths it. Hope for the best. And get these going. Oh, these are the wrong ones because they were. Plane filters, not, not Casimir crystals. And then with more plane filters. We will be able to make more quantum chips, which probably means we'll need to build more processors, which means we need to go back and double pretty much everything. It's kind of a ever repeating process. So fun, fun, fun. And hydrogen. Both of those need to be the faster ver versions because we need a lot of hydrogen in this. And we're out of power now, by the looks of things. Oh, that's why. Let's have a look at how we're doing power production wise. Uh, 77 megawatts and we're <laughs> producing 54, so a little bit shy on the old power front. I probably should have bought, uh, brought more wind turbines, but I can just pump out some wind turbines. We'll do another 30. Because this planet is pretty shitty actually for. Oh, it's because of that line. It needs to be on that one. No, that is on the right one. It's just in an awkward place. Lovely. I mean, I could put more solar panels down, but I think they're getting like a couple of, well, like 60% power. 39% power there. Isn't really enough. There is some more water here that we could use if we wanted to. I want to kind of hold off on that. Oh, sorry, we could flatten if we wanted to. I do want to hold off on it. Mainly because we are struggling for a little bit of water on that, this world. And I don't really want to have to set up another one just yet. I will eventually, but for the moment, hold off on it. More still looking here. And some iron, actually. How's that done for our power? Yeah, we still need so much more. This is the winter zone. Axial inclination is actually 30 degrees, so we really do get deep polar nights here. Really, really deep polar nights. <clears throat> I 
Uh, what about adding another layer of solar panels? See how much power this generates. I'll have to do one of both bowls, but... So yeah, for reference, I believe the Earth is like 20-ish. 20, 20 to 26. So we do get quite deep polar nights, but nowhere near as bad as this one. Land of the Midnight Sun. Also, this is a long way from the star, which doesn't really help the help the generation of solar panel, solar, solar power. As long as they use less than 80, then we're looking pretty good here. shortly. Okay, how much power did that add for us? That added a, like another 8 megawatts, which is not bad. Not bad at all. That could be useful to set up a Dyson Sphere here as well. Saving. Or we could just do it with fusion power. That would also work because we actually have access to unlimited deuterium now, so. We should be okay to constantly churn out fusion cells. So yeah, let's get a couple of microfusion plants. If this is not enough, if this is enough, then you know we'll, we'll hold off on doing that for the moment. But if not, then I'll look at more microfusion plants. Or microfusion plants in general. Okay, how are we doing now? Uh, 69, nice. Okay, let's go fusion plants. Hey Ed, welcome back buddy. How the devil are you? Silicon was gold, yeah. Yeah, we've uh, we've come a long way since silicon was gold. We've come a long way since silicon is gold. Now hydrogen, hydrogen was gold. So, I basically spent all of last time starved of hydrogen and setting up so many hydrogen crackers um, and then I was like I should just go and try and find a gas giant and I did and I, I found a happy little gas giant that uh, supplied me with everything I could ever possibly want so we've now got unlimited hydrogen and I've just come back to set up more casimir crystal generators uh, you need warpers but also we swap technology as well so that's always fun but yeah, how the devil are you? How was your, uh, how was your weekend? Quest a hundred of those. Remote demand. Uh, do I want to do another two? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a bunch of fusion power generators. To just kind of keep us in the, in the green, in the black, whatever you want to call it. Collides with the object. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen any of the the vods. I've been religiously uploading them onto YouTube, so they they are all up there at the moment. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it helps. Because great work was hot. Yeah, I can imagine it being an absolute nightmare with the snow. Can imagine. I mean that we've. We've been lucky the weather has changed here now, because before we were, we were like in the, in around zero degrees centigrade, so what, I, can't, I don't even know what it is 
in Fahrenheit, but it was snowing basically every other day. Not much, but enough to be an inconvenience. And now we're in the the happy stage of not needing to worry about it at all because it's uh, gone degrees, so literally tropical in comparison. Uh, what's your problem? No, I, all of those are full. Casamay crystals getting used up. Excellent. We can probably go even more if we wanted to, which we do. Park a semi and Costco parking lot to load vans. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unloading a full semi into vans. That that doesn't sound like a particularly fun fun afternoon. Hopefully it wasn't wasn't too painful. Hopefully you had some uh, a, well, at least a little bit of help with that. Yeah, let's how is Hydrogen doing? Yeah. We've got see constantly requesting Hydrogen now. But we've got plenty, so that's good. Holy shit. Four hours. That's not fun. So yeah, uh, let's... Doubles again? Like I said, I, I think I'm approaching the realms of what I can actually support with a single belt. Two, three. One, two, three, four, six. Ah, oh, just outside the range of the power tower. Just outside the range. Close, but, you know, still kind of annoying. Which would be the other one there. And yeah, I don't really need to spread it there, but it's on the likely event that we do need more, so have it ready to go. Adding further production, because yeah, we need a lot of plane filters. We need a lot of quantum CPUs, so lots of plane filters are needed for those. But in that event, did you uh, do anything exciting? Did you uh, do anything fun? Or was it all just uh, all work and no play? Makes it a dog boy. So that's usually the, uh, the way working weekends go. Oh, 20 minutes. Lovely. To get myself some uh, some water. Stay hydrated. <sighs> Fantastic. And set the Casimir crystals up. Like I said, I am not sure whether this line will be able to support it. There may be a time when we just are not able to get enough hydrogen through. But I'm not sure when that's the going to be the case. In fact, it looks like we are up to that point now. But I don't know whether that's because these are loading on hydrogen or... Whether it's because they need to back up. Ready intensity is not a problem, man. Not a problem. Uh, I'm just going to leave this for a second and go in to see whether these are actually going to keep on. I mean, I wouldn't have put the redeems on if I didn't want to do them, but I will uh, I will be back in a minute. Unfortunately, there's no camera. You can't see it because basically uh, this is my back wall. Um, I'm in a little alcove and there's just not enough space to do sit up, so I have to go and do them in the rest of the, of the room. But, but it's right. I will be back in a second. Looks like, like I did max the belt on of hydrogen coming through.
there we are. More to, well, yeah, but a stream deck costs money, multiple cameras cost money, and at the moment, things are uh, not in a position where I am able to, to indulge in such luxuries for the stream. Maybe at some point in the near future I'll be able to, but yeah, at the moment when, in these tough times, it's, uh, it's not a possibility. But, you know, it's definitely on the radar at some point. It would be nice to have a additional one, because I did float the idea of doing something like a, a cooking stream or something like that. But the main issue is having a camera that can get over there. Because uh, my my current my current camera's lead is like a meter long, so I uh, I can't really stretch that the like five meters over to the kitchen. But no, like I say, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll get it. Uh, hydrogen across there. Sorry, graphene across there. Hydrogen across that way. I believe. Yes. Yeah. And then everyone will be able to see... But I wouldn't really call it suffering. Would not really call it pain and suffering if they do setups. I mean, no. It's not too much of a struggle. Maybe I should increase it from 10 to 20. To make it actually more of a challenge. Okay, you're still good. Is yeah, it is just not getting hydrogen through quick enough. Wait, why are you not running? Product. Oh, you're product stacking. Oh, now they're working. Just. That's six. How much hydrogen are you using? Using 12 hydrogen every four seconds. Which is three per second per machine. So we can run 10 machines in theory on this. We have 12. So these two won't work 100% of the time. They may work occasionally. Um, when the, like timing works out, but yeah, those will not run not run consistently with a single line of hydrogen. So if I want to increase the amount of titanium uh, sorry, plane filters I make even further, I will have to clone this setup over here. Which I think is probably the easiest way to do it anyway, but it would not be in theory wouldn't be too much of a problem. No, come on, splitter, four direction. So it have there. I don't know whether that'll actually fit in with the belt. Not quite, because it changes grid there, and I should have done that offset the other way instead of the way it is. Yeah, we do. Two there. Link those up and then we'll do more coming out. <clears throat> Pardon me. So yeah, let's get rid of those. Because they won't run continuously, so there's no point having them. I'd rather have half the number running continuously. Or at least, part, I say half the number, but it's only one less. Oh, uh, one, two. For fuck's sake, come on, select the splitter, there we are. Got there in the end, it was a little painful, but... We got there in the end. 
and then this will be the other one. I'll have a fresh hydrogen line coming down the middle, which will be from here. Also, power not looking too hot. I thought I'd set up those... Fusion plants, or are they just not keeping up with it? Do we need more fusion plants? Oh yeah, we need we need more fusion plants. The the four that I put down was not enough. Shit. Lack of item. Oh yeah. Get myself some more. That should mean we're okay for power. Just, yeah, because we're charging up stuff now. So, we've crossed over the threshold into it. That is good. And then, yeah, we'd have the fresh hydrogen line there. And crystals coming up this way. Although, having said that, I actually want to switch those over. Because what I'll do is I'll just merge these lines together. if it will actually do it. There we are. Like that. And then hydrogen. Oh fuck! No 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 no! Oh god damn it. And be on titanium glass. I really, really don't like that mechanic sometimes. It just is so easy to to jump between them. So when you when I'm doing this, it just randomly jumps between them. Would be would be nicer if it was a little more stable when it came to that. Just a little less flickery. Otherwise I end up making mistakes like that and it's just frustrating. Anti-frustration mechanics is the is the best way. Oh. And of course that's now So I think I can get to there? Yeah, good. Sorted. Oh dear. I mean, this is literally just for a single one. Just for a single Casimir crystal, which we don't actually want to go down there, I'm realising. That was the wrong way to go. Those can just be connected wherever. Because what I actually wanted to do was come to here, go there and then onto that. Well, sorted now. And then uh, blues on the hydrogen. We should be good to go. I should fire up the remaining three down there. Oh dear. Right. What are you looking at? Are we acquiring a backlog? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. We are struggling with power still, so let's boost this up to 60 megawatts and hope that it can charge up a little bit better. Demand, we need more. Two more mini fusion plants. It's 
just going to be an, a massive, massive row of fusion plants just to get this planet up and running until we can get a Dyson Sphere going to power it properly. But it is needing to make a lot of stuff, so... And transport a lot of stuff, a long distance. Because yeah, it's bringing the hydrogen in continuously from from uh, a great di distance away. So needs uh, needs lots of power to charge that up. Alrighty. And then how much titanium? You need two titanium glass air, so it's one every six seconds. So we can power. So one every six seconds. In if we had, three, that would be one every three seconds. So we can do thirty. I think math's good. Math's real good. I mean, it's barely moving at the moment. Universal Exploration Level 4, excellent. We finally got it. We have finally got it. So now I can view all the planets in my local cluster. Actually have a look at... Uh, have a look at some resources. So yeah, there's Ursus Major, which is where we went to get the Hydrogen and Deuterium. because uh, that is the closest source of it, I believe, to Syra. Uh, we got Beta, Hercules, Zeta Centauri, nope. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, Theta Volantis, that's another hydrogen ice one. It does have an ashen planet for more sulfuric acid. Uh, what else have we got, Syra? Spica, Rookbat, there is also one there, which is only 8 light years away. Blue Giant, it's a little, little bright there. Uh, what else have we got? We can actually go and have a look at the Neutron Star now, which is all the way over there. Uh, what's the brightest body in the solar system? Type O is usually the brightest. That's a 2.44 brightness. <clears throat> Epsilon Musci is 2.043. That's 2.1 on Theta Volantis, which is another O, which is actually really close. Theta Volantis is probably where I'm going to go for. Type O star over here. Yeah. What else have we got? We've got type B. Type B 54 light years away. Holy shit. That's um, that's a long way away. That's a very, very long way away. Did I have a look at that one? That one was... Oh, that's the one I'm on. At the moment. Nice. Anyway. Enough screwing around with that. We should probably go and have a look at our plane filters. So we are really struggling with demand for hydrogen. Really, really struggling with demand for hydrogen. Can we... We do have logistics carry upgrades queued. Get up to that sweet 1k. So they're just a little bit more efficient on it. That navigate speed would probably be better as well. Having faster navigate speed would uh, mitigate some of the some of the speed loss that we've got. Okay, let's
head over to Alpha Serpentis 1 and check our circuit production, quantum chip production. Which is where exactly? Here. Plane filters. We are starting to get a backlog of plane filters. So let's double our chip production. To start with, we can always increase it even further in a second, but... Baby steps. Okay, there we are, that's doubled it. Now we just need to check that it's keeping up with CPUs. So each one of those is 20 a minute. So 80, 160, and you're currently making 20 a minute as well. Which is, yeah, so if we have, if we have at least one to one ratio, then we should be generating processors regardless. It's just whether we are using up it's our entire star cluster. Ah, here they are. In the last minute, we started making 75 chips. That'll steadily increase up to 80, I believe. And we're just watching the consumption of uh, chips. I believe circuit board is is one hundred percent fine. We do not need to worry about that because it'll keep up with the demand. Most of them were, well, I think, like half of them were uh, backlogged, so they weren't running continuously. So don't need to worry about that. But yeah, processors production is the one I need to keep an eye on, which seems to be settling around the two twenty mark, which is good. Uh, what about plane filters? We're currently using 160 plane filters. So if we want to make more plane filters, I do need to go back and increase that before I do more of those. We have six of those, and how many microcrystalline components? We have two extra, cool. So yeah, doubled all of that just to double the production of quantum chips. Nice. Those are ticking up nicely, we're starting to starting to get a bit of a backlog there. We're up to 80 a minute. I do want to increase that further, so I need to look at that. How are we doing on our other resources? Uh, silicon seems okay. Yeah, everything else seems pretty, pretty okay at the moment. Go check on Alpha Serpentis. Yeah, three. Back to Alpha Serpentis three, and we'll boost the production further. Oh, I'm not out of the sphere of influence, but we'll hop across here one more time. Double check on the actual needs. How are you doing for power? You seem to be stable-ish for power. Let's go check on how much titanium glass we're using. In fact, I should probably have had a look. Because we're doing okay for those. Titanium glass, 360. Yeah, we're just above it at the moment. Which is good. How many more have I even got? I don't have any more machines? Yeah, I have no more replicators. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting stuff. 
How are we doing on titanium and silicon? Both seem okay there. Gas, still kind of struggling on. Have to maybe look at adding some more hydrogen extractors. I mean, it might be an issue of production. It might not. Uh, let's put all our fluids on three. Production is 3,500. <coughs> but I don't know whether that's cow or not. Not entirely sure. What I kind of want to do is add another. That's just going to go get hydrogen. Oh uh, no, I won't. Because at the moment all of them are currently getting hydrogen. So if we have another one down that do just solely get hydrogen, that'll be good. Okay, that's that hydrogen sorted. Do the same with this side hydrogen. And you'll be warpers, slot one. And literally all, all you're going to do is demand hydrogen. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, importing lots of hydrogen. Lots and lots of hydrogen. So, I have... Uh, where am I looking at? So, on... Alpha Serpentis 2, uh, it's an oceanic jungle, we have oil and we're cracking a lot of oil to make uh, hydrogen and then way out in uh, Ursari Majoris is where I have, I found my first gas giant there. That's the only gas giant I've found. Every one, every other one was an ice giant. So I wasn't able to get enough hydrogen out of them, so I had to go all the way out there to, to get my first one. So that has like 10 harvesters on it. And honestly, looking at it, it probably needs more. Probably needs a few more. I also need more power as well. So when I've got this place, reasonable. I'm going to go check on it with another 10 um, giant orbital harvesters and then probably come on mini fusion plant. There we go. Uh, and then probably add, add 
those tend to it to boost the production of it because yeah hydrogen hydrogen's a bit of a problem at the moment how's that looking for power still not enough holy crap I mean I'm I'm kind of not surprised we need this much power kind of not surprised we do have a lot of a lot of ships warping a long distance very very frequently so that much is unsurprising just feels like a lot 184 megawatts of power yeah that's build 6000 so all of the vessels are coming in now with hydrogen that's got 6600 build so yeah, kind of a kind of a lot there at two. But yeah, we'll we'll get increasing the size of the, the vessels shortly. Also, looking at it, we are not keeping up with titanium crystals anymore. We need some more titanium crystals. Lack of item. Oh, what we could do is just. And that's all my level 2 assembly machines gone. Excellent. But we should have increased the production enough to cause a backup now. How are they even doing? So we should see an absolute procession of uh, vessels jumping over to Ursaro Majorus to grab the majority of the hydrogen. I'll go back to number two for the moment and go and have a look at my, or at least show off my hydrogen cracking there. Because we, uh, we have a lot of hydrogen cracking there. I think I've got like 20 refineries just running cracking. Tapping a single oil deposit, but we do have the option to add more. The problem is dealing with the carbon that comes out from it, so... Yeah, I'd rather do it with orbital harvesters, even if it is more power intensive. Mainly because it makes more as well. We're getting about 20 a second from each one of those harvests compared to, I don't know how much this planet makes, but not, not enough. Just not enough. Nearest ast astronomical unit. Nearest astronomical unit? Nearest ast astronomical object. So yeah, Alpha Serpentis, this is our jungle world where we're harvesting organic crystals. And we have the, the vast refinery set up here that's desperately trying to keep up with hydrogen. And it's actually not keeping up with oil now. Because we have... We're using it faster than that can actually produce. Significantly faster by the looks of things. I thought this was 300 and 5. Or is it a power issue? No, it's not a power issue. Yeah, it says you're doing 305 for minutes. And these use... Wait, are these using... Two oil? Yeah, okay, it uses two oil. Ah. <clears throat> gotcha. That's why it's not keeping up. Uh, where's the nearest crude oil seep? We've got a 2.8 over here. Or we've got... 2.95 up there. Let's go for this one. This one's closest to power lines, so kind of makes sense to tap into this one. Yeah. <clears throat> 
get them to build this line and then should have all the, I the uh, oil going again. I don't want to say this is why we were out of hydrogen, but in the li in the grand list of uh, things to improve your hydrogen production, that's not one of them. Honestly, we could improve the setup if we went straight across there instead, or even came back out one. Because we could get rid of a bunch of belts, but I don't think we need it. Uh, what I do want to do is upgrade... In fact, I say it, but... It would be easier to do it that way. Is that in the same spot? Yeah, it is. So I would need to come across here. Should have cleared all of that now. Excellent. And there goes all of our production back online. Wonderful. So there is more oil that could come in here as well. But, yeah, I don't think we need it. How's carbon doing? Yeah, carbon seems okay now. So yeah, this doesn't produce anywhere near as much as the hydrogen of hydrogen is there. Entire star cluster is up to 4,500. This local planet is producing at 1,600, and Alpha Majorus is producing at 2,000. So uh, not not bad there, not bad there at all. Favorites, liquids. We're using about 3,000. Okay. Let's go and... Have a look at our, that planet again. Go and uh, see if the the new one we put in has uh, has actually improved the amount of hydrogen that's just kicking around. It may well have. It also might not have. <clears throat> We'll see. We will see. It will just, uh, just depend. It just depend whether I've actually hit the production threshold that I need. <clears throat> Which I hope I have. Yes, yeah. Looking good. This one's the one we want to be primary. So. We can ease the needs of this one a little bit. And it's also kicked up in there. Good. So hydrogen is now fine. I needed to go and get more assemblers. I can get more. And in fact, I can add... 
few more onto this one too. Because we have now, so. Should wait for. No, because it's one, two, one, two, three. So I would need some more. We'll add another ten to be produced. Lack of item. We'll get built in a second though. Okay, sorted. And then when my bots finally go and finish all of that off, we'll actually be able to do some stuff. Okay, yeah, I did get that the right way around. Right way around. And then finish off these, and then that is... I don't even know how many more that's going to be. But it'll, it'll mean we can get more quantum CPUs and hopefully that's improving our research rate. Then we'll have to go and check on our actual research rate, which is probably going to be improving the number of fiber broadband I make. I think fiber broadband will be the bottleneck we've got to solve next. Now we've got rid of one, we've got to go and get rid of another. We shall see though. It might be something completely different, it might be something crazy like crystals, or even carbon. Also we should probably check on the titanium on this planet. Uh, local planet, yeah. Titanium glass, we're using 408, we're not producing enough, so we need to go and boost the titanium glass production. Next. Is your problem? Why are you not working? You're not getting... Oh, okay, the Casper crystals just need to come in faster. How are we doing for power? Looks good at the moment. What? What do we need to go up to? 450 and we have 380 and each one of these is tw 24 so if I add four more that sh should be DM more than enough hopefully although I'm out of uh, inserters as well Wait a second for those to be, be built. Excellent. Should be good now. Just need to check on the glass. Make sure we're actually making enough glass. Which I do think we are. close. Especially when this number reaches 470. Water is looking good at the moment. Stone. Seems to be okay. You may need some more stone. 
point we need to request stone here. 480 excellent, 480 glass, but that's not considering the full production at the moment. Where would we get more stone from? Here, surprisingly. Finally, stone. Yeah, I guess stone can come down here. Oh, out of building range again. Square away from actually being up. Sort on stone. And this should mean we are making enough glass now, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll we'll just keep an eye on it for a second. Just about keeping up with it. Water. So titanium glass looks good. Consumption 478. Have to go and check on that in a second. Water is being consumed at the same rate, which is exactly what we want. Glass is being. Yeah. Let's go have a look at it. See. Make sure we're actually producing enough. Hopefully. this fully occupied. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Plane filters are building up again. So yeah, hopefully that's okay now. I kind of want to double check on that. How are we doing for power? Five left. Because it's matching production at the moment. So if we do one more of each. Should be rising up now. Consumption as well is going up. So let's get another. Oh, we don't have any furnaces. Yeah, easily producing more than we need now. 
producing about 240 plane filters. So that is good news indeed. And then let's go to have some Serpentis. One. Oh shit. Swing and a miss there. I was too busy trying to make sure my fuel was in the right place. How are we doing? Are we backing up on plane filters now? We are! Excellent. Good news indeed. What I did want to do is that... Just to burn that oil up and then get rid of it. So, 240 is the maximum we can do. This is 80, 60, so we can do another 4. I don't have the production facilities for it. Shit. How are we doing it for process are okay at the moment? Yeah, we're starting to get them out now. Excellent. One, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Nearly out of belts as well. That's six to six, so we use up all of the processors producing quantum chips now. And I'm not going to have enough to back up the demands. I have a horrible feeling. I have a horrible feeling. That's all the assembly machines I've got, so hopefully that's enough. Excellent, we can now utilize the AMS to boost the production on our ray receivers with graviton lenses. Which is nice, but first you need power coming from your graviton, uh, your facilities before you can actually worry about Extracting more power from them because at the moment we're like on in the hundreds of megawatts instead of the gigawatts, which is probably what we need. Excellent, that's sorted. It looks like we're just making enough processes. More or less. Yeah, there's a few coming through. But now we should be making two, uh, sorry, 120 chips a minute, which is nice. So back to base. Which is. Zero. Okay, warp it home. Let's check on the progress of our Dyson Sphere, we'll do a bunch of other stuff while we're here, and yeah. 
that should be good progress. That's Dyson Sphere stuff. How are we doing on this? We have 300. We've done half of the Dyson Sphere that we're going in. It's making us 50 megawatts now. Not bad. For start, at least. Uh, Dyson Sphere program. VLS silo? I can build another one. Excellent. We are. Doubled our Dyson Sphere production rate. Uh, what are you held up on? You're held up on components and you're held up on frames. How are we doing on frames? Train's just slow. I gotcha. Green's looking good, quantum CPU's looking good. How many are we even using at the moment? Making 94 gravity matrices. Quantum chips, we're using four minutes? That does not seem like that much. I'll install that in a second. Let's get my inventory refilled with everything I need to build stuff before I try and build stuff. Always kind of handy. Uh, then we need super magnets, belts, which we're fine with those, stack inserters, normal inserters, green belts are fine. Motors. Yeah, I'll take another stack of motors. Super motors, we are still fine on. Foundations. Take another couple of those. Coils. It's better. Gears. Uh, steel. Iron. Copper. Prisms. Power poles. Plasma exciters. Titanium glass in my inventory that I don't need. Don't have any hydrogen here. Oh, because you're not requesting warpers. 
That'd be why. Local demand, remote storage. Oh, there we really need warpers, but. Could, sorry, not that we really need hydrogen, but we still could request them if we needed it. Uh, what else do we need? Can I even make plane filters here? I can, but I'd need casimo crystals, which I... I can actually make. Could make them if I wanted to. To use plane filters up. On that titanium glass. But other than that, I think I've got everything I need, except for graphene's good, titanium is now good, super titanium is now good, nanotube. Now good, fiber broadband. Which, like I said, does seem to be a bottleneck, but... We are out of power. How badly are we out of power? Quite, quite severely out of power. Frame materials. Need to boost that up as well. I actually haven't checked how much soil pile I've got. Nearly a million, yeah. It's funny how when you desperately need it, there's none to be seen, and when it's, well, as soon as you forget about it and you're like, oh, I don't need to do anything with that for the moment, just uh, seamless up. Lack of item. No need 10 of those. Okay, that's frame materials doubled. I'm not sure how many frame materials we need, but we've doubled it for the moment. Uh, I'm going to take a short break here. I'm going to grab myself another cup of coffee and nip to loom, so I will be back in uh, about five minutes.